1930s, Louisiana has lost nearly 1,900 square miles of coastal wetlands. And as those wetlands have disappeared, you lost important coastal habitat for wildlife and fisheries, as well as the storm surge protection for a lot of those coastal communities that live here in Louisiana. The Mississippi River Delta faces lots of threats and has been facing these problems for years. The Deepwater Horizon spill was just another threat that the Gulf faced. And it's important that we use the restoration funds to repair the damages of that spill. But now we also have an opportunity to address the larger problem of land erosion around the Delta. The Barataria Basin in particular has had a lot of oiling from the Deepwater Horizon spill. So we're trying to build marsh and make uh, the area more resilient to you know, future storms. The more wetland and marsh habitat we have outside the levee system, the better the levee system will perform when it's tested to its fullest during a storm. If we don't do this bit now, the Gulf of Mexico shoreline will continue to march north. You look on the chart plotter on your boat and it's got marsh on there and you can't see any for miles. It's really sobering. Wetland restoration is something that we do a lot of and are experts in, but the size of this project is very unique. This is the largest project our office has ever undertaken. We're constructing in what was previously two to three feet of open water. You've got a dredge in the river. You've got 13 miles of 30 inch, three quarter inch steel pipeline. You've got these marsh buggies pushing this stuff around. We're gonna take the sediment that we dredge from these two borrow areas. We're gonna pipe it through a temporary sediment pipeline and we are building containment dikes around these marsh creation areas. The sediment pipeline comes from the river and it goes over the levee, it goes under a railroad, under a highway, and then it goes to the marsh creation areas. There's a lot of habitat being created. There's a lot of sediment being moved. It's a proven technology and it works. NOAA's Office of Habitat Conservation lies within the National Marine Fisheries Service, so fisheries is our primary concern. Louisiana is very special because it is the single largest producer of seafood in the contiguous United States. It's critically important that we maintain these ecosystems that support those fisheries. Coastal wetlands are really important for fisheries. They're the nurseries for the fisheries. And most of the fish that are commercially and recreationally important in the Gulf of Mexico actually spend part of their life in the coastal wetlands. I don't think there's anywhere in the world where you you'll find the health of an ecosystem so intrinsically tied to the health of our economy. You have these really important species like white shrimp and brown shrimp and blue crab that are commercially and recreationally important. They need the marshes in order to grow up. Fortunately, we've got the resources, we've got the drive. I think the world's watching, so we've got to do it right. Our ecosystem and habitats are some of the most valuable things that we have, and we really need to protect them and restore them whenever we can. They're not gonna survive if we do nothing. We actually have to invest in them for us to have a future with those ecosystems.